Ну, по идее, пиксел. As a fan of Yuri visual novels, I knew Heart of the Woods was a game I had to experience after I first heard about it. With its visual presentation of a fairy tale, the story truly aims to take the reader on a journey that fits the theme. Heart of the Woods seems to have plenty of surprises that ended up making the game a more enjoyable experience for me since I rarely knew what was going to happen next. While the story first presents itself as a strictly cute romance, it ends up getting pretty dark with a serious tone that had me hooked until the end. I'm Brad Crespo and this is Noisy Pixels Review for Heart of the Woods by Lynn Carmella. Heart of the Woods introduces Madison, who is helping her best friend Tara with a very popular vlog channel called Terra Normal. As the name already implies, the vlog mainly revolves around Terra and supernatural stuff, while Madison is tasked with doing the tedious duties of being the manager and doing most of the work. This ends up being too much for her, and lets Tara know that, after their investigation, she's going to call it quits. After visiting a new town and meeting a strange character named Morgan, Madison and Tara realize a strong presence of real magic coming from the woods near the town. Although they are left with many questions, Morgan seems to still be keeping secrets from them. As I mentioned before, Heart of the Woods didn't turn out to be the light-hearted and cute game I expected it to be. It's much more than this. It's dark, cruel, and makes you think about how unfair life can be. In the story, there are four distinct main characters who each have different personality types from the super shy and timid girl to the cheerful and hyper one. With that said, I found myself getting annoyed at times because of the reactions of the characters, especially between Tara and Madison whose relationship best resembles a roller coaster. Heart in the Woods features two relationships between the game's four characters, which is nice since most games focus primarily on only one. Throughout the game, players are able to understand what each girl is doing thanks to the change of narration and alternate colors of the character's name, which helps the player understand whose perspective they're reading from. Based on the player's choice, Heart of the Woods offers three different endings. Two of them are considered bad endings, and then there's the true ending. Without spoiling anything, I have to say that I was pretty unsatisfied and confused with the two bad endings, but they encouraged me to play the game again to get the game's true ending. To sum it all up, Heart of the Woods is a lovely game with beautiful CGs and a lovely soundtrack. While I was initially thrown off by the game's tone, it actually turned out to be refreshing. Even though the game does have moments of questionable illustration choices and the bad endings made the pacing feel messy, it's easy to see the effort the developers put into the game. And it's rare to see a romantic visual novel which also has a serious and deep plot. Heart of the Woods is an easy recommendation from me for Yuri visual novel fans. Noisy Pixel is giving Heart of the Woods a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching. You can read our full review at noisypixel.net. Noisy Pixel is ran by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all of our future content.